Okay, so now let's start creating our form. So we start from an uh, from a Word document, of course, and we all we need is just these uh, merge fields. You already know from PDF Butler. So uh, in this first demo, let's start with a simple one. That's going to be our order number. So our order number, we want this to be filled with a text box coming from uh, Salesforce. Okay, so let's uh, take a look on how to start. Um, we start, of course, by creating a new doc config, and I'm going to create a new main Word document. Okay, uh, it's going to be called Form Butler, of course, and then this is our hold on. this is our document. Okay, I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, I do not want to store it, uh, just to save some uh, some precious storage on my developer uh, system here. Okay, now we have our doc config. First step is to enable uh, form fields, this checkbox. If you do not have this checkbox, make sure to connect with our support department so they can enable that uh, functionality for you. Okay, when that's done, let's upload our uh, doc config. So I'm going to choose my file here and it's the form butter docx. Okay, just going to go for an alternative name. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Next up, I'm going to add my data sources. Uh, it was, so I'm going to add the form butter opportunity. Okay, I'm going to add the uh, form butler products. Yeah, opportunity products. Okay, and now uh, there was on our opportunity, there was a child data source as well for our account. And okay, just click the plus here and I'm gonna add our account here as well. So now we have those three uh, uh, already set. I'm gonna save it in the meantime. So this configuration is already there. Next up is we're gonna take this field's order number and make it into a form field. Okay, just create a config type. Instead of using a single, go for a single for form field. The data source is our opportunity. The field is the order number that we're going to use. The merge field is, of course, the order number. And then there is some form field data. So uh, we don't, we don't want to lock it, the uh, field in this case. We really want people to fill it even when there is data. Uh, the type is going to be a single line input. So this is a text area. This is a single line input. The units of measures is going to be in millimeters. So we are going to identify, indicate how big our form field is going to be on the document. So uh, what most people do here is that they say, I want to fit it nice in my table, or if you want to do it some another way, that's your choice, but you just have to make sure you, yeah, you can really play around with this and say, I want, for instance, the width to be uh, 100 and 106 and I want the height to be let's say eight millimeters you can really play with the millimeters here or with the inches here so uh, that's uh, your choice so the validation type uh, is just a text box so I don't really want any validation on that one um, so yeah let's remain let's keep it as it is okay cool now I have this uh, I'm gonna click save to server Everything is validated, looks good. So now we're good to go. Okay, so we're good to go. We can test this. And for testing reasons, I've just already put this uh, previewer here. Everybody knows how to do this, of course. So we're not gonna waste time in this video. I click the button, the document will now be generated. Um, and what we will see is that we nicely have our form field in here, as you can see. So it's already filled because there's probably data, as we can see here in the bottom of the video, already in, in there. And I can really already start uh, making changes in it. So uh, yeah, this is great. Our first form field. Congratulations.